Live from WEHT Local, this is Eyewitness News at 10 in high definition. Protecting the Second Amendment tonight, hundreds of people turned out to a forum in southern Illinois to voice their concerns over legislation being considered at the state capitol. Thanks for joining us. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Now, these Southern Illinois residents are upset with a bill that would affect their firearms, but they're targeted at problems up north. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett was at that meeting tonight. He's in our newsroom now with the latest on this. Brandon? Well, Brad and Shelley, it was standing room only tonight at the Family Life Center in Enfield, all wanting to know more about those bills being considered that they say could limit their rights as gun owners. Many believe they are paying the price here for all the violence up north. I have not had anything except one traffic ticket in my entire life. And why is the state of Illinois all of a sudden sticking their nose into my business uh, and expect me to pay for it? If the size of this crowd is any indication, residents in southern Illinois are very concerned about proposed gun legislation being presented by state lawmakers. We're just not going to stand for it. We're going to fight back. Valinda Rowe and her husband run Illinois Carry, a website they say is aimed at helping to advance the right to carry in Illinois. They helped organize tonight's event in order to get the word out about Senate Bill 107 and others, they say, are trying to take away their Second Amendment rights. Some of of them would ban some of our commonly owned sporting rifles, handguns, shotguns, and we're concerned. But the concern doesn't stop there. Rose says one of the bills not only targets their Second Amendment rights, but their right to free speech as well. They could go through our Facebook, Twitter, whatever accounts and see what kind of um, things that we have said or posts we have shared to see if there is any, any reason that we would not merit. Uh, owning firearms. Senate Bill 107 would also require anyone who already owns certain semi-automatic weapons to register those firearms with state police within 300 days. Failure to do so, lawmakers say, could result in a felony charge against the person. It would be a law, State Representative Darren Bailey says, would punish the entire state, all in an effort to curb violence in Chicago. They feel like they need to do something with this gun violence, but uh, the do something usually means blanketing the entire state with, with laws that infringe on our freedoms, and uh, that's got to stop. And lawmakers say they don't know when or if those bills would go up for votes. Organizers of tonight's forum say they plan to hold more in the future. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Live tonight in the newsroom, Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Brandon. And Illinois Senate Bill 107 is, in fact, sponsored by a state senator from northern Illinois. State Senator Julie Morrison, a Democrat representing Deerfield near Chicago, introduced the bill in January. Her campaign website says she's a proponent of strong and well-enforced gun safety laws. It says she introduced legislation to ban trigger modification devices, bump stocks, and assault weapons in response to the many tragic shootings in recent years.